Hey guys, in this video I'm going to upgrade the mechanical hard drive in this 2009 MacBook Pro to an SSD. Now this clip was actually already part of a much longer video with a lot more details, so go watch that one if you want to see that, but this one is for people who only want to see the upgrade of the SSD. So here I am um, unscrewing all the screws from the back. They're really small screws. A couple of them were bigger than the others. See, there's they're different size screws. Most of them are really tiny. Just remember which screw goes where. Place them in a place where you know you, you can tell how they, you know, which holes they went into, so you can put the right screws back. But yeah, other than that, they're all the same screws, and it's pretty easy. Just pull that off. You see your hard drive there and your RAM there. There's a that big thing there is the battery. So. Uh, We'll pop the RAM out, take a look at it. That is a stick of RAM. See, there's another one, and see they're each one underneath the other. And a funny thing, when I put the when I powered this back on after doing this, it would not boot up, and it gave me some deep codes indicating a problem with the RAM. I ended up having to reseat the RAM, I think, a couple times before I actually got it to boot up. Like I cut that part out of the video. But um, yeah, that took a little bit of troubleshooting. So yeah, make sure the RAM is uh, seated back in correctly. And it's interesting that it actually has has uh, beep codes to let you know that. In any case, yeah, here is the uh, cable the, that attaches it. It's like a basically a SATA plug, basic, basic SATA hard drive, but it's an adapter to what looks like some kind of proprietary connector that connects up to your system board. And uh, as, as you saw there, those uh, two drives are basically about the same size. The SSD is slightly slimmer, but not by much. So um, yeah, there we go. So I'm actually going to take some of these screws off of the uh, the mechanical drive and install them onto the SSD. So what what this is going to do? Um, yeah, this is going to just I, I could actually just stick it in there. I don't have to worry about it shaking. There's no moving parts inside it since it's an SSD. But I'd like it to fit in there snug and and there there are little slots. So there are little screws that stick out the side of the the hard drive that um, help it fit into these little notches and I just want it to fit snugly in there just because I feel it's the right way to do it. Now this whole section of the video, the whole section where I started pulling the, where I replaced the uh, hard drive was about over an hour long. Somehow I captured an hour worth of photo footage of me doing this. Somehow this took me an hour to do all of this and I actually sped this up and compressed it into less than five minutes. So there we are, put it back in place. You know put the screws back in yeah but this this whole process from you know starting to take the screws out to putting the top back on took uh, over an hour and I compressed it down to less than five minutes so there we go I'm gonna put the top right back on there and there we go so yeah hopefully you found this interesting hopefully hopefully this actually helps someone um, you know, if it doesn't help you, hopefully at least you found this interesting and, um, yeah, you might want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot of other great, um, interesting content out there. We do a lot of stuff. We do a lot of coding stuff, a lot of, uh, Linux stuff, a lot of, um, electronics, Raspberry Pis, 3D printing, just a lot of tech stuff in general. Um, a lot, we do hardware, software, basically everything related to tech, electronics. Um, so if that's the kind of stuff you want in your YouTube feed, definitely hit that subscribe button. Um, you probably want to hit the bell icon too, otherwise YouTube won't let you know when we come out with new videos. And, uh, you know, make sure to, you know, hit the like, like button for this video and leave a comment down below if you know something. I don't know any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever it is, we do want to hear it. So leave a comment down below. And uh, that's about it for today. So uh, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.